the Napleton Sports Desk with Sports Director Scott Lepper. The Eastie Rabs made the most of their short spring football season. They left their mark by winning their half of the Nick 10 and winding up in the conference championship game. The Rabs might have just been warming up. We feature them now in our football two a days. Yes, the E-Rabs still feel the momentum of their run in March and April, despite the lopsided loss they absorbed at the end against Harlem. I think we have a lot. We've been working really hard this summer, and I think we're going to come back this season better than last season. Everybody wants to be a part of a winning team. People want to want to play sports when teams are winning. But, you know, I, I tell our guys all the time, you know, if football was easy, everybody would do it. It's not easy. It's a lot of work. The E-Rabs have been putting the work in, and boy, do they have some talent returning, including a slew of running backs. So which ERAB will lead the conference in rushing this year? <laughs> Javius Catlin. Javius Catlin, a sophomore. All he did as a freshman in the spring was average almost 11 yards a carry and gained 423 yards. He was second in the conference in rushing behind only his teammate, C.J. Berry. But Catlin will be sharing touches with several other backs, including another sophomore, Deteris Dotson. Dotson also broke some big runs in the spring. These two young guys, their vision, their pad level, their balance is very special. And uh, it's going to be, can we, can we keep them both happy, giving them the ball? Uh, and then we still have three other guys that have to get the ball. One of them is senior fullback Kingston Hogabook. We got a great coaching system. We got a lot of great backs, so we know how to rotate on and off, so we, that shouldn't be a problem. On the offensive line, East graduated All-State Honorable Mention Jason Strohberg. But the other four starters on the line are all back. And 6'1", 270-pound guard Calvin Cardenas has transferred in from Jefferson to join the group. I feel like the line can get it done this year. I feel like us as a whole, we added one more. I think that's the part we we're missing. Another plus for the offense is the return of quarterback Ryan Larson. He missed all the spring season after tearing his ACL during basketball season. The defense has some playmakers, too. Tyrus Cunningham was a first-team all-conference lineman. Joy Pineda and Joseph Holloway also stood out on the line. Darius Sago made plays at outside linebacker. And Shamar Holt was probably the best safety in the area. It's like he was born to play the position. I love it. It's just great. I can run around. I like to run. So run all over the field, make big plays for my team. Coming up tomorrow on our two days, we'll preview Stockton at 6 o'clock and Auburn at 9 and 10. The season kicks off two weeks from tonight, but next Friday marks the return of our half-hour high school football show, Overtime. David Greenberg and I will preview the upcoming season in all the conferences. Tim Bailey will join us to size up the Nick 10. Catch Overtime next Friday live at 11 p.m. on Fox 39 and then every Friday night during the season. That 11 o'clock time slot leaves you plenty of time to get home from your game and settle in.